the over 1,800 students who failed the entrance exam into the Ghana School of Law are demanding the remarking of their scripts. The students who are insisting they never failed the exam want Parliament's Constitutional and Legal Affairs Committee to push for an independent body to review the scripts, arguing that could be the only way to exonerate them. Lawyer for the students, Kofi Bento, spoke to Joy News shortly after a meeting with the committee. We think it's disingenuous for our seniors to elevate these mistakes of a few and make it look as if everybody is making the same mistake, all right? And this whole view that we are not producing good students nowadays is not true. The students of today are smarter than the students of the previous generations, okay? Subject them to the same rules, the same examinations, and I tell you, they'll do better than some of us were in school. So it's, it's not right, okay, that you find out of 1,280, even if you found 200 people, behaving like that or writing those things to behave or to suggest that that is the generality. It's not true. It's simply not true. So we are saying, look, nobody should listen to anybody. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to the students. Don't listen to general legal counsel. It is not impossible to remark 1,280 scripts. It is not impossible to ask for the marking scheme for every question. It is not impossible to ascertain independently, objectively, whether these students fail or not. We should not believe at this point. We think Parliament is a good place. Now, this has gone beyond an academic situation. This has risen to the point of a national crisis. It is beyond the management of the General Legal Council. They cannot be judges in their own case. So this should not be done by the General Legal Council. It is possible to find 20 to 30 or 40 lawyers in this country of significant repute. It is possible to give them the marking scheme. Okay, and it is possible to ask them to review these scripts over the period of a month. If we can solve this problem within a month, why are we sitting around and worrying everybody about and it? And the committee agreed to this proposal. Well, we made these representations to the committee. And we are making these representations because we say that we did not fail. The students did not fail. There has been a problem. Meanwhile, Parliament's Constitutional and Legal Affairs Committee is backing the students' demand. Ben Abdallah Banda is chairman of the committee. We are not judging the matter because we are not arbiters. The students are also saying that they never failed the exams. So the students are insisting that they didn't they fail are, Yes, they are insisting that they, they, they never failed the exam because the first question is, is uh, borders on a subject or, or, or on a course that every law student knows. And they come across this kind of question day in, day out in their academic life. So they couldn't have failed the, um, they couldn't have deviated from that question. So once it is the word of the general legal counsel against the word of the students, I think what we need to do in order to vindicate either the students or the general legal counsel is to have a remarking. Because the, the general legal counsel are alleging, based on the information that they have, which we are not privy to. The students are also saying that they didn't fail. So how do we resolve the issue? The only way that we think that this issue can be holistically resolved is to ensure that in order to create a level playing field, then let's have their script remarked by different markers. So at the so, end of the day, if we have the different results from what the independent examination um, the committee brought out, then everybody will know that the students have been vindicated. If it is the same results that those markers will be churning out, then the General Legal Council and the Independent Examination Committee will then have been vindicated.